Look at it swim. Right now it's breeding season for the goats, so we're already trying to get things set up and figured out for next year's kidding season. <laughs> To manage our herd numbers, we needed to sell off some of our kids. Oliver and Otis were the first two kids born on our farm, and they were quite bonded to one another, so we were really happy to see them go together as pets to a local family. As for their mamas, Fern and Fig, we've decided not to breed them again this year, so they're going to enjoy early retirement once we get them dried off. As for Aspen's twin boys, we went ahead and weathered them, and now they're living with my dad and stepmom and their small herd of goats. And sometimes they don't miss you. Look, see, I'm snuggling with the goats. <laughs> As for Mabel's twins, we've decided to keep them and see just how much fiber they grow. Hey, you can't see it here, but they're already getting really fluffy with cashmere. Go, mama, mom. Go. <laughs> Hi, mom. Is she crowding you? Yes. If you were around last spring, you know it rained and rained through all of June and July. Well, now it's the middle of October and we haven't seen any rain at all, which is really unusual for us here in Oregon. So the garden is still putting out and I am still harvesting a couple times per week and doing my small batch preserving. And to be honest, I'm kind of over it at this point, but I'm also glad to have a stocked up freezer and pantry.
meet our most recent additions to the herd. Come here, Maggie. All right, come here, Persephone. We'll show her how to do it. Oh! I'm gonna close this. Just like that. I am gonna carry you. Oh, I saw them. Hey, Mary, come hop out of the car. <laughs> I want to show them their hay real quick. We picked up these two from M. Capra Farm, the same farm where we found Pepper and her brother Phineas last month. Yeah. The brown doe with the frosted ears is Magnolia, and the other doe with the moon spots is Persephone, or we call them Maggie and Percy. Hi. The exciting thing is that we asked the breeder to breed both does to her bucks before we came and picked them up, so if the breeding took, which we very much hope it did, because her bucks are gorgeous and this would really help diversify the genetics in our herd. Then these two will kick off the kidding season early next February. In addition to Maggie and Persephone being bred, we are breeding both Willow and later Aspen to our buck Thomas. Willow wasn't bred last year because she had just had her baby, and we thought it was better for her to take a break. So this will actually be her first date with Thomas. That was that. that So as you saw in the beginning of this vlog, I decided to go ahead and rip back the sweater I was knitting with this yarn, which is a beautiful gotland blend from Lerga of Fiber Tales. I loved the pattern and the fabric the yarn was making was really beautiful, but for some reason I just kind of felt stuck about it. So instead, I've started on a sweater vest that I'm making for Matt for his birthday, which has already come and gone, and I'm using a free pattern that I found, which I will link in the description below. So far I've finished the back and I've got the stitches on stitch holders. And now I'm working on the front and I finished up the bottom hem and am now on to the stockinette portion. <laughs> 